So let me get this straight. We... Fought a monster. You know, okay. In the Dynasty Ruins. And we somehow ended up on another continent. Yeah! Makes complete sense! I totally get it, you know? I, I get it so much because, look! Um, Palma Costa is supposed to be, uh, if I can move my, my thing. Palma Costa is supposed to be over here on this side, you know, because you have to take a boat over there. I'm pretty sure. No, because, yeah, because it should be, it should be like this island right here. It, I don't know. You know what? I, I don't even know what I'm talking about. Let's just go to Asalia. It doesn't make sense to me, okay? I just feel like proving the game wrong. Anyway, Chapter 3, The Footfalls of Tomorrow. Isalia, this is Lloyd's hometown. Did you just say Lloyd? Yes, and you are? Is everyone a eavesdropper in this game? I'm Paul, Lloyd's number one apprentice. I'm heading out to patrol the haunted ranch. You wanna come with me? Lloyd's apprentice? What kind of idiot? What did you say? Emil, he's just a kid. I'm not a kid. I'm the great dual swordsman, Paul the Magnificent. I've heard that voice before. Um, give me one second. Carol! He's Carol! I freaking know that voice! That sounds like Carol! That has to be Carol. <laughs> My apologies, Paul the Magnificent. Jeez, you outsiders have no manners. I can't believe kids still worship Lloyd even after what he and the Church of Martell did to Palma Costa. Upset, but try to calm down. The first thing we need to do is gather information. Maybe the town's mayor has an idea where Lloyd is. <laughs> you should kind of expect that being in his hometown, Emil. I mean, come on. But dude, I can't believe I never noticed that was Carol. Well, I haven't played this game since, uh... I didn't play this game before... I think I'll for a while. Uh, this is my first time playing the game after I beat Vesperia, so... I never knew about that. Anyway, Village of the Oracles. This village is so peaceful, and the air is so clean. I don't know. It's almost too quiet. And the air feels charged. This is the Village of Oracles, home of the Mana lineage. The souls of the Chosen who perished in failed attempts at world regeneration may still haunt these grounds. Yeah, that must be it. It's just the sort of village I'd expect Lloyd to come from. Shut up, Tenebrae. Yeah, come on, you're putting stuff in his head. Uh, let's hit the shop. Yep, but we're in Asalia, the first city of the game and, well, in the last game. Which is awesome, I love being in Asalia. It's very, very pretty from last time. Anyway, we here we get a scale plate, a white cloak. Kind of mad I didn't go back to that block puzzle, but oh well. Uh, beggars can't be choosers. Um, I don't know. Uh, it's by like 20 of this stuff. And if I don't put that to 20, I'll be OCD and be mad at myself, so. There. Just in case. I don't know why. I, I just remembered. I don't know why I said there was no cooking in this game in the last uh, recording session. I felt like an idiot after I said that. Anyway, let's uh, look around. This is Asalia. There's not too much to see around here, but I hope you have a nice time. Oh, thanks, man. I hope I do, too. Uh, it got cold and all these monsters showed up, and now I can't go outside and play. I'm so bored. Um, I'm sorry. Let's check out uh, Rain and Genus's house from the last game. 
The sage siblings are both out of town and on some sort of journey. Oh, Oh, we can't go in their house. Oh, sad face. <clears throat> oh well. Damn it. I was hoping I could skip that, but oh well. <laughs> I am Borcistus of the five design Grand Cardinals! Lloyd Irving is here! Evil design, I will defeat you! Yeah! I keep hearing the word design. What does it mean? You don't know? The designs were a group of half elves who wreaked havoc on the world before the regeneration took place. They say the designs took people to places called human ranches and then did unspeakable things to them. You make it sound like you weren't affected by them. There was a ranch right near Palma Costa and everyone was so afraid of it. You were? Yes. Iselia got off easy since the Chosen was born here. They entered into a non-aggression treaty with the designs to protect the town's people from being taken to the ranch. Clever, huh? It seems we Centurions missed a lot while we were dormant. Yeah, that's how it was. Yeah, of course. Yeah, I mean, it was kind of a big thing, you know, two years ago. It, you know, don't you know about it? <laughs> Anyway, with ooh, non-aggression treaty. So I finally understand who the designs were. But why did you sound disapproving of Isalia's non-aggression treaty with them? What did the treaty mean anyway? It was an agreement that the designs won't attack the village. Isalia was the only place to make such a deal. It wasn't fair. All the other towns were pillaged by the designs over and over again. So how was Isalia able to make a treaty with them? Beats me. Whatever they did, they're lucky. They got off a lot easier than everyone else. Yep, they very much did. Anyway, with a new chapter, we have new quests. I mean, I know everybody loves those, and holy crap, we have a volcanic cave already? Aw, you know, I'll do that next time. Uh, Dwarves or mine, I'll do that off screen, off screen. I'll show this one off. Ooh, hunting so. Mm hmm. I want to try and get the hunting sword for like this this quest because that takes like five seconds. It's just a fight. So let's see if I can change that. Chain gauntlets. Yeah, if you just leave, um, it changes the rewards. But uh, I don't want to stand there and keep pressing in and out to get the hunting sword. So uh, let's look around a little bit. At least this house is back. You know, in the last game, it got burnt down. Yawn. Aww. It's so cute! <laughs> okay. <clears throat> when Colette got word that Lloyd was the one who carried out the blood purge, she ran off. Oh, I feel bad for Colette. I heard that Lloyd was the one who carried out the blood purge. Yep. That's how it is, pretty much. Let's see if anyone out here gets to say. Nope, eh. Well, it is Colette's place, but nothing really to say. Oh man, every time I record, I swear to God, it's like the third time that's happened. Oh wow. You know, it doesn't mess up the recording, but it just annoys me. Oh, you can't go upstairs, man. It's like cock block. I have this health check thing on my computer, it's like every single time I record, it's like, Oh, I'm gonna health check you, BAM! It's kind of annoying. Let's see if you have it now. Silk cloak, no. I mean, it's not a big deal, I don't have to do it. <clears throat> Let's check out the school. Wait, wait, there's a kitty back here. Oh, you're so cute. I love cats. I'm sorry. Wait, that's a... I came to this village at Vrain's request, but it seems the students are having trouble opening up to me. Because you're Tethe Alden. They don't like Tethe Alden. 
Silverati for the win! Oh well. I actually forgot where I'm supposed to go. Uh, any luck? No. no. I don't think it can even give me the thing. Oh yeah, because this was rank C. Okay. Yeah, I can't even get it. Okay. Well, I might do that off screen, so it's no big deal. Maybe I'm supposed to go talk to the mayor. The mayor. The, the douchebag from the last game. Yep. Excuse me. We're searching for Lloyd Irving. He used to live in this town. Have you seen him recently? <sighs> Another one asking about Lloyd. Let me guess. This is about the blood purge in Palma Costa, right? It doesn't make sense. Lloyd would never lead the Church of Martell against Palma Costa. Lloyd killed my parents! Oh, damn! Emil? Before the world regeneration, a horrible massacre took place in our town at the hands of the Desions because of Lloyd. See? Just like Palma Costa, Lloyd is nothing but a worthless murderer! B but I thought Estelia had a treaty with the Desions. Lloyd tried to save a friend of his who was being held prisoner at the Human Ranch. It provoked the Desions into attacking. What a fool! Even a child knows that the life of one insignificant person in the ranch is nothing compared to the lives of everyone in the village. One insignificant person? What a horrible thing to say! Then which would you choose? Save one person with a thousand lives? Or save a thousand with one life? Well... It's obvious. The one person must be sacrificed for. Wait! That's not right! What if you were that one person? Would you still feel that way? And what if there was some way you could save all thousand and one people? Yes. Lloyd thought that way as well. But ultimately, he failed. Lofty principles are all well and good, but there's a difference between an ideal and reality. <laughs> well, the mayor's still a douchebag. Lloyd is a fool. He believes all lives are equal. He imagines an ideal world where those who want to live can live. Well, what's wrong with that? That's kind of the point of living. But he's also a man who works tirelessly to realize his ideals. Of course, whether that's good or bad is a different story. Mayor, you believe in Lloyd. Well, I don't like him much, but yes. Why does everyone stand up for him? I know for a fact that he killed my mother. Ask the people in town. His old teacher is back here right now as well. And Lloyd's father is at the Martell Temple. Perhaps he could shed some light on things. It's possible he's been in contact with Lloyd. The temple? It's located north of here and belongs to the Church of Martell. Lloyd's father is a skilled craftsman. He's been doing repair work there. 